Wheeled excavators do not usually operate on steep slopes, but sometimes this may be impossible to avoid. Try to find the best position for the undercarriage, somewhere where it is less steep. Depending on the type of undercarriage support you have, the slope angle can be partly compensated for using the blade or outriggers. Activate the switch in the cab and move down the support, in this case, the blade. If your excavator is equipped with outriggers, then do not forget to use them when digging across the slope angle. Press the downhill outrigger downwards to its maximum and this will correct the excavator. All supports are individually and manoeuvrable by simply pressing the dedicated switch. However, this feature is not found on all excavators. By using it, you will increase the lifespan of the transmission, increase the performance and at the same time have better operator comfort. As you are aware, digging should always take place over the rear axle, which this operator is doing. If you are unable to find a suitable position, then you need to prepare the ground with the digging equipment. Failure to do this could cause damage to the engine due to a lack of oil pressure and lubrication. Should moving material be necessary, try to avoid slowing uphill. If it is absolutely necessary, then do not overfill the bucket, because this will slow down the slowing speed dramatically and force the slowing transmission to the maximum. If the material is heavy, it will be felt in the slewing speed, and therefore the bucket should be filled less. Again, overloading the bucket and slowing uphill is not a combination that is recommended. Moving material from above downwards is of course much easier for the excavator, but do not forget that you must have full control. If the bucket is filled to the maximum and you start slewing downhill at full speed, the slew retardation time will be much longer and could result in damage. We recommend that you fill the bucket to half and slew with lower engine revolutions and slowing speed downhill. When you feel you have full control, then you can slightly increase the speed. If you first spend some time on the preparation work when on a slope, you will very quickly make up that lost time. The operator is now able to fill the bucket 100% and slew both to the right and left, as the situation demands. In other words, at maximum production.